All right, just going to make another little video here real quickly to just kind of cover some points I didn't cover in my other two videos against Robert Breaker. Uh, first of all, you get down through here, and here he writes. You can see his uh, thing and then my reply back to him. And he did the same thing with the other thing where I openly proved that he's a liar. But uh, another point that one of you brought up, Christopher Herndon, um, in the comments I saw Breaker plainly says 1948 is one of the blood moons, 1493 to 1948. Just do a quick Google search and it says, uh, for instance, Israel's independence happened in 1948, yet the first blood moon happened in April 1949. Again, 49, 49. You know, you can down through there. Okay? Becomes a nation on May 14th, 1948. Blood moons occurred in 1949. So, for Breaker to make his system work, he has to lie right there right and yeah just in case you're you're saying oh I don't know listen to this to 1493 all of Europe said we don't want you Jews and they kicked them out the next time that these blood red tetrad moon showed up was in 1948 any idea what happened in 1948 oh yeah that's when Israel became a nation okay he says it became a nation there's people well, you know, 47 and 48, you know, and stuff like this. Uh, it's the same thing. and it's Disgusting. Okay. He said the blood moon was 1948. Right there it is, 1949. Okay. He lied again. But see, he has to have these specific dates to make his little timelines work out. And again, you know, September 23, 2015. People watch it, 1.8 million views. I mean, I remember back then it was like this huge, big thing like, oh, wow, are we going to see this video by Robert Breaker? And, excuse me, here you have his newest one, September 23rd, 2017, 8 million views. Bible believers don't get these, these kind of views, or 142,000 subscribers. He's a fraud. He's a fake. But see, they want to promote him to make Christians look stupid. That's the thing that's disgusting about it. Here's a video I did September 14th, 2015, saying it's not going to happen. And it didn't. Play a little bit of this. Is it going to happen? I don't know. So I just, I just wanted to make a real quick video here just to kind of warn people because I see a lot of, of stuff on this 923 thing. And I'm just saying, be real careful. Uh, I hope that the Lord comes back. It'd be great if he came back on the 23rd, took us out of here. Uh, that'd be wonderful. But um, let's just say I'm not going to be shocked if it doesn't happen. Okay. Um, and just stay busy about the things of the Lord. I mean, just don't get into so caught up with this date setting thing and looking for secret signs at the Illuminati and all that stuff. Man. I really got to advise against that. Uh, okay, the, the Lord has plans. So our job is to stand by his word and uh, preach the gospel to the lost. That's our job. So. so there I said it way back then, September 14th, 2015. I'll say it again about uh, 2017. I don't believe for one minute the Lord's coming back on September the 23rd. Don't believe it for one minute you're going to see another false prophecy and yet a lot of people are still going to follow Breaker even though he's been proven wrong you know numerous times now but lessons learned from false rapture date setting that was October 15th of 2015 that a whole almost an hour and a half long of going through scriptures and, and things talking about the thing of false rapture date setting you can watch that study and here Way back in 2011, um, the May 22nd thing of Harold Camping, and uh, they came out with this false prophecy, and it was messing people all up and everything else. And uh, you know, you can watch these things. Harold Camping, the King of Cuckoo Birds, you know, I did that one, and um, it's it's just it's disgusting uh, seeing the kind of things that the how the news media mocked you know, these people, 
and I'm, I'm not even going to play the whole video and stuff like that or any of the video but watch some of these and look at the parallels between what was happening with Harold Camping how the media was having a heyday about it and what Robert Breaker is doing right now and let me just give you a little warning there to Robert Breaker you see because Harold Camping after he came out with all this stuff his ministry folded up and he died not long after that um, it's a real dangerous thing to mess around with prophecy from the Bible um, really really a dangerous thing so you better watch your step breaker uh, Lord can drop you very quickly um, but you know it just it's disgusting to me okay it's just I'm done there um, what's happening is I'm just gonna talk about this for a minute or two here uh, what Robert Breaker has accomplished is he's drawn a lot of people away from this ministry um, we had a lot of we've lost I don't even know how much support um, people that were very faithful we still have those brethren that are still faithfully supporting this ministry I don't make a cent from Google unlike Robert Breaker he makes a lot of money uh, from Google with the kind of views that he gets and everything else and how they're promoting his channel it's kind of weird I mean I, I know Bible believing Christians that have had their channel deleted by YouTube but Breaker is being promoted but uh, you know I don't make any money from YouTube and yet I know for a fact I've had numerous people that used to faithfully support our ministry King James Radio Ministries and they were there and then they all of a sudden they start talking about Robert Breaker and I say yeah, yeah be careful him and they disappear and their support is gone um, it's getting very very tough uh, actually uh, we've lost a lot of support to this liar Robert Breaker right here and a sister um, friend of the ministry um, she actually sent me a little video clip of uh, her she you know recorded her television um, Peter Ruckman the uh, drawing men to Christ program was on a local television network thing there like a local cable access network or whatever for 25 years it was on there and they're going to be closing September the 22nd and I can pretty much tell you why because Bible believing Christians are getting sucked into this weird movement here of Robert Breaker they're getting pulled into it and they're saying well why bother giving money to legitimate ministries and things um, we're going to be leaving soon that's what's going on I really firmly believe that um, and it's disgusting uh, again the devil there's a couple different ways that the devil can get God to punish a Christian and that is if the devil can get you to really start messing around in sin God will have to chasten you if the devil can get you to add to or subtract from the Word of God um, God will have to punish you and another big one is if the devil can get a Christian to mess around with the occult God will punish you this is the occult right here this this is not in scripture this thing here Virgo and Leo and stuff like this these constellations and how the constellations work out it's a lie the Revelation 12 thing is a complete this Revelation 12 sign thing this false thing it's a complete lie let me just read the text. Read Revelation chapter 12. They're lying to you. But the sad thing is, we have lost friends of the ministry because of Robert Breaker. Uh, people that I wrote back and forth with for years and years and years. And all of a sudden, Robert Breaker shows up and they left. They left my ministry. And now they're going over here to this guy, probably sending him their money. And he's laughing all the way to the bank. The guy that gets millions of views on his videos has 142,000 subscribers. He doesn't need your money. Okay? But it's okay. Keep sending it to him. And you're going to hit the judgment seat of Christ, those of you that are saved. And you're going to realize that you were supporting a con artist. And you're going to lose your rewards. So it just, it, it just makes me so sick. I can come out and I can show the guy openly lying saying it's 1947 
founding of Israel. Back here, on well, actually, it's a 1948 founding of Israel. There, the Israel becomes a nation and things. Israel's a nation. Israel's a nation here. That's when they became a nation. I can show it. I can show the proof. Right here, he lies. 1948, he says, is the the next blood moon. No, it wasn't. It's was 1949. But see, he has to he has to lie and tweak numbers and things like that to make his little prophecies come true. And you know, what's going to happen on the 24th? Are you going to keep watching him? You people out there, you're going to just keep on watching and, well, you know, he didn't actually predict and blah blah blah. blah. Yeah, go ahead, keep doing it. So. Um, got other things to do now and it's like late I'm really getting tired but I uh, had a late night so um, just so disgusting but if you want to hear some more stuff it's it's you know uh, I was gonna play part of this one but I don't feel like sitting there for 14 minutes and stuff because it's late it's gonna be past my bedtime soon so but uh, you'll see a lot of the parallels I mean, this is 2011 a lot of the parallels of what camping, Harold Camping was doing, and, and what Robert Brake here is doing right now. So uh, that's going to be it. Um, thank you for watching.